man, moving forward, last question. And I heard his side of the story, but I'm gonna get it out of you. We're gonna get this over with. So at the practice, 97, <laughs> I know where I'm know going. Where we're, going. We're, in the, we're, in the, we're in the film room, we're in the meeting room. And something happened with you and Jamal McGlure after practice where y'all were going back and forth about who's better and y'all stayed after and played one-on-one. -on -one. We're in the meeting room, cheering y'all on, and then things turn around. What the heck happened? <laughs> it happened in like seconds. Well, at the time, we're towards the end of the year because this is going in the SEC tournament. And uh, Jamal's minutes had been going down uh, uh, because coach started playing me and Jared together. like. As the, at the beginning of the year, you know, like I came in for Jared, Jared came in for me, and that's basically it. But then when uh, DA went down midway through the season, we kind of had to readjust everything that we were doing. So uh, I started playing um, with Jared as one of our rotations versus, you know, us playing only really. If you watch film from early in the year, you never saw Jared Prick and Scott Padgett in the same highlight. If you saw it late in the year, you could see it. Um, but because you came late, yeah. you came later on yeah. that year. And and uh, <laughs> I don't. So Jamal was on one team, and me and Jared were on the other. And I think Kashimu was playing on that team too. So they were subbing like those three guys. It was more like uh, mm -hmm. you know Shimu playing the four, but. Basically, whoever that day had Jamal on them, we were stepping them out and we were, you know, like, we, 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 it was his freshman year, you know what I'm saying? So, like, we were kind of taking advantage that. of him and we're talking that. trash and we're talking trash. And then the trash in practice led to let's play one on one and we play one on one. And so, I feel, you know, like I walk off of the court and I had a pretty good one on one game. So, like, not not necessarily in life, but that, that day. <laughs> and so I'm laughing <laughs> in his ear more <laughs> as we're going off the court. And he had had enough of it. He just swung on me. <laughs> and then it was on. And then it was on. <laughs> and then, like, we're rolling around and there's, there's blood on the floor and we're slipping in it. And, and it's funny. No, and it's funny because, like, we, they that we had to go because we had to go get stitches and stuff. We had to go to the emergency oh, room. Oh, bruised up, man! And we're in there getting stitches together, and we're joking about it. Like, like it was like it was one of those things. Like, you know, you had it several times throughout your career where you get into it with somebody on the team, and it probably looked a lot worse than any of because there was actually blood that came out. But, right. but, but it was one of those things. Like, it happened, and like 15 minutes later, it was like we're good. <laughs> you know, like, Absolutely no, man. Steve, you should have saw Steve Massey. I heard come Steve. Flying. They're fighting. They're fighting. <laughs> you walk in blood. Jamal walks in blood. I'm like, what the heck just happened? Somebody, somebody was mad about losing. I know that much. <laughs> yeah, we, but I've always want. I've never heard your side of the story to well, this you day. Know, like, it's it's right one of those things. Like, to be honest with you knowing what I know now and, and, and knowing that like it was tough time for him because he wasn't playing as much, you know, like I let my competitiveness probably go too far when he was having a rough time because his minutes had been cut down, you know, like, and uh, you know, he came in obviously with all the expectation in the world because they were saying he's the best guy from Canada ever. And, and obviously finished with a great career, but his freshman year was, you know, it was up and down. He had a good probably beginning of the year, middle was okay. And then at the end it started, to where he wasn't playing as much because Nas came on. I came to the team, you know, after whatever, eight or nine games that year. And and uh, so he, there was frustration and, you know, when frustration and you got somebody in your ear, I probably I probably was the cause, of, you know, like at the end of the day, I was the cause of it because I was talking trash, and, uh, you know. Yeah. Like, but but I will say this, like, like Jim was that dude, that fight me and him had probably had the utmost respect for me, like, the rest of his career you know what I'm saying so like I think he he had some bully to him you know like to where like if you back down from him you know he would have been in your face the whole you know from now on and and like we had a I think we had a very uh respectful relationship and even moving forward up to now we still you know when we talk it, it's it's still funny you know like to us now you know right and we were young competitive 
you know, wanted to be the best, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, there was competition every day, you know, because obviously, shoot, me and Eve, we, Ron and Derek, they went at it. So, I mean, yeah, hey, hey, that's Twan what made and Rod it. Twan the year before you got there, Twan and Rod Rhodes went to, at it, like, daily. Daily. <laughs> I mean, like, for a year. <laughs> so, it, it, it's definitely, I mean, obviously, if you, to be at a, at a high level at some point in there, you got some competitive of juices and you know to 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 be able to make it to the, that level and uh people probably wouldn't believe that about me but i like to talk trash a lot so i mean that's what i grew up in a neighborhood you talk trash and so that, that's I, I like to do it so that was one of the times where trash talking went wrong 